Greetings, comic book fans. This is your old pal, Blue Goblin, here with a special requested review here on YouTube. Uh, a guy by the name of Guido5595 requested that I do a Final Crisis review. So, I'm going to give him what he wants. I'm going to review a side story that was done for Final Crisis. I'm going to be reviewing Final Crisis Rogue's Revenge. Now this was the only mini series. This was the only side story from Final Crisis that I actually read, other than the submit one shot. I didn't read the Superman Beyond or Legion of Three Worlds. I'm sorry, they just didn't grab my attention. I'm not the biggest Superman fan, so let's start with issue one. I gotta put it on the record saying I just love that cover. That cover's awesome. Issue one deals with the Rogues out on the run. They're on the lam. They're in hiding because they broke the number one rule. Never kill a speedster. They killed a speed they killed Bart Allen, Kid Flash. They killed him and decided to run into hiding. They run into the trickster near the beginning of the issue, and later on the Pied Piper gets into the picture. So what happens is they decide to talk about possibly retiring hanging up the weapons, hanging up the suits, and just dropping out of sight. Just forcing themselves into retirement. So, what happens after that is there's a little place called the Flash Museum where there's a bunch of speedsters trapped in suspended animation. A red lightning bolt comes out and strikes the body of inertia who's a clone of Bart Allen, and frees them of suspended animation. Well, wait a minute. Now I think back on it, I think he was the only one in suspended animation, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Well, anyway, Inertia is freed from his suspended animation, and he's, he's, he's back. Inertia is back, and he's right off the bat, he decides to wreak havoc. And the rogues are sitting down, and they listen as the news comes up says inertia the leader of the rose is is raising cane all over the all over town and they listen to that and they go what did he say he was when the hell was he our leader whatever i think it's time we break rule number 1 just one more time so they decide to go after inertia but somebody beat them to it when inertia runs into professor zoom I called him Reverse Flash when I was younger. A lot of people did. But he's Professor Zoom. And he says, guess what, Inertia? You're going to be the new Kid Flash. And that's how issue one ends. Very nicely done. I was I was uh, greatly impressed by how well it was. That leads us into issue two. Issue two decide, uh, goes into Libra getting into this, getting into this picture. Um, Professor Zoom tells Inertia, look. Libra wants you to be the new Kid Flash. I don't. So obviously Libra has, or at least he did, have some huge plans in mind for Inertia. So Inertia picks up the suit. He decides to be, he's, okay, he's Kid Flash. And Professor Zoom is telling, teach, trying to teach him how to use his powers effectively with deadly force. Um, the the rogues are confronted and challenged by their supposed replacements who are named uh, Chill, Burn, Weather Witch, Magic Man, and Mirror Man. They decide to get, they challenge the rogues and they get into a big fight. And not really surprising, the, the rogues totally obliterate their supposed replacements. It's not really surprising, but it was a nice fight. Nicely done. Let's just say Chill is a bit of a broken man. <laughs> um, issue 2 ends with Libra holding Weather Wizard's infant son. What a bastard, right? Yeah, thought so. And that leads us into the final issue of the series, issue 3. I, that, once again, awesome cover with the trickster. Very nice, I love it. This is the this is the 
the issue that's supposed to, you know, drop a bunch of bombshells when it comes to the Flash, the, the Flash, the enemies. Um, wasn't exactly a, a spectacular ending, but it was very nice. It was very well done. It wasn't perfect, but I enjoyed reading this 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 three issue miniseries. Issue three was awesome. It was just incredibly well done. It was a nice read. Um, inertia, Kid Flash now. He's getting used to the sense of power he has. And once he figures out how to fully use the power, he decides to change his... He uses the power to change his costume and his name. He now goes by Kid Zoom. And the, the way the costume is altered is not that bad. Very nice. Um... Kid Zoom decides to take the matters into his own hands, and he runs up, and he smacks Libra around a little bit. Then he does this. He snaps his fingers. Big explosion happens, and unfortunately, the Weather Wizard's son is supposedly blown up. At least that's what I caught from him when I was reading this. The rogues get together after Kid Zoom takes away Professor Zoom's powers. Whoa. That was now that was good. Did not expect that to happen. The rogues decide to team up to break the number one rule. Just one more time. And they said, This isn't for and Weather Wizard says, This isn't for murdering my son. And then they say, It's not for murdering the kid flesh. No, it's not for any of that. He said, This is just for one big fucked up year. And they kill him. They kill him the same way they killed Bart Allen. And before they leave, they leave, a, they leave a message right next to Inertia's body. Tell the Flash we're even. Just awesome. Just truly awesome. And this issue ends with Barry Allen running into the scene, making his return. This was very nicely done. This was a miniseries leading up to the return of Barry Allen, the Flash, who we thought died back in Crisis on Infinite Earth. But now that he's back, who knows what DC's going to do with him. This was a very nicely done miniseries. This is one I strongly recommend you pick up. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd have to rate it with an 8. It's very nicely done. Uh, Jeff Johns, incredible writing. Scott Collins' artwork isn't the best, but it's, it's decent enough. This is, a rec this is a miniseries. Once again, go ahead and pick it up. If you can find any of the issues anywhere, go ahead and go ahead and at least read them. You won't be disappointed. Well... That's it for now, so until my next video, later.